Hi guys, and welcome back. In this episode, I travel to Round Top, Texas to bring you the highlights of the inaugural Thunder Over Round Top RC Expo. We have an old saying, everything's bigger in Texas. Well, this event definitely lived up to it. What's normally a sleepy little town of only 90 residents, Thunder Over Round Top brought in 114 registered pilots and well over 500 spectators from all over the U.S. Being a large-scale warbird event, every type from World War I to modern-day military aircraft were well represented. One of the many highlights of the event was a 65% scale Fokker DR-1 triplane that was piloted by Greg Knoll of Louisiana. The mastermind behind Thunder Over Round Top is Round Top native Fred Massey, an avid RC and full scale pilot who wanted to bring a high level RC event to this part of Texas. Fred, along with the members of the Texas Warbird Thunder Flying Team, set out to design and build a field suitable of Texas hospitality. Set on the Massey family farm, Massey and crew took a section of the 500 acre hayfield and built a thousand foot manicured grass runway. With the rolling hills and wide open skies as a backdrop, you would be hard pressed to find a better flying site. The event kicked off on Veterans Day with Master of Ceremonies, Randy Larson, honoring all veterans, including those in attendance for their services and sacrifices for protecting our freedoms. Randy did an outstanding job keeping everyone entertained with his wit and his humor throughout the three day event. And once an event without a full scale plot. We had several. We had a Stearman, an RV8, a Satabria, an icing on the cake. A B 51 Mustang made several passes over the field to the joy of the crowd. The B 51 Mustang, folks, known in a movie as the Cadillac of the Skies. Here he comes, glamorous Glenn 3, Mr. James Bohannon. Folks, I take a close view of the beautiful 51 owned by me. There it is. There's that whistle as he rolls it up on the side. Across the runway. See what he's going to do here. Maybe he'll get a little closer this round and show you the front of it. Former Texas governor and presidential candidate Rick Perry, along with several other local dignitaries, were on hand Saturday to dedicate Thunder Field. Then we got to listen to a couple of young ladies from the area schools sing the national anthem and America the Beautiful to honor veterans and to kick off the last day of the event. All in all, I thought this was a top-notch event. The hospitality shown by the Massey family on the last night that we all were there by serving a steak dinner was way over the top in showing true Texas hospitality. Plans are already in the works to make this event even better next year. So make sure to mark your calendars for the 2022 Thunder Over Round Top RC Expo. It's an event you definitely don't want to miss. Till next time, I'll see you at the field.